and ready to rock and roll. So, yes, let's give everybody a few moments to enter. Um, I have received a multiple um, uh, private messages on, on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, people excited about the session that we're going to be talking about some really cool things. Um, today's topic is, uh, is one, like I said, I've been obsessed about for many years. And a lot of people talk about financial freedom. A lot of people talk about creating, you know, multiple streams of, of income. Some people even talk about multiple streams of passive income, of passive income. Um, what I want to talk to all of you about is how to create wealth and the secrets to creating wealth. And as always, I'm going to share with all of you three things that I believe are so important that you need to understand, you need to grasp, you need to master when creating wealth. And of course, I have a book here that I'll be sharing with all of you. So yeah, so looking forward to uh, the session. Um, quick, you know, 10, 15 minutes, a little bit of inspiration, motivated, motivation and some shortcuts that's gonna help every single one of you create wealth. So good to see you. Uh, you guys are, are, are checking in. Good to be here. Any moment, I believe my cat is going to be jumping up. So if you see her, uh, don't don't get startled. Let's dive right in. So let's talk about wealth. You know, I coach a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners. And one of the key things I say, I always say to them, look, one of my missions when I'm coaching entrepreneurs and business owners is to help them move from being a business operator, in other words, a slave, so move from being a business operator to being a business owner. Because when you're a business owner, you can go for financial freedom. But ultimately, what I focus on is to move them from being financially free, move them to become what I call wealth creators, wealth creators. That's what I'm after. So the first thing I'm gonna share with all of you is you've gotta make a commitment, a commitment to being a wealth creator. You just need to, look, you will define yourself. They say the two most powerful words in the English language, in the English language are, I am, I am. Why is I am so powerful? Because whatever you say after that, you will become. So if you say I am powerful, guess what? You say that enough, that's what you will become. Remember, what we repeat, we become. So one of the things that I've always come to the table with was a mindset of I am a wealth creator. I am a wealth builder. I am a wealth manifester. So I was always in it to create wealth. Yes, I achieved financial freedom many years ago, and I've been very blessed through my businesses and, and my activities, but it's always been in my mindset that I always wanted to become a, a wealth creator. So the first thing I'm gonna share with all of you is commit to becoming a wealth creator. And by the way, just to put things into perspective, a lot of people you know, think that wealth is only about money. That is very untrue. Wealth is about having love, happiness, joy, success, and abundant of other things that are gonna really fulfill you. So that's why we wanna focus on being wealth creators, okay? So that's the first one. Commit to being a wealth creator. Second thing I wanna share with you, and this is, this is a, one of the biggest secrets to creating wealth. One of the biggest secrets to creating wealth, it's one word, and the word is leverage, leverage. One of the most important things you could do to create wealth is understand the concept and the power of leverage. Now, let's talk about different leverages. There is, I'm sure a lot of you've heard of OPM, right? OPM stands for other people's money. In other words, you're doing business, you're investing, you buying businesses like I am, you're, you know, you, you're investing in real estate. When you buy a piece of real estate, why is real estate such a great way to create wealth? 
is because of the leverage, right? You buy a, re- a piece of real estate for 100,000 pounds, 100,000 dollars or 100,000 euros, right? But the bank will say to you, listen, you bring 25% and the bank will bring 75%. So the bank brings 75,000, you bring 25,000, and now you own that property, that is leverage, leverage, okay? So there is something called leverage in the form of OPM, other people's money. But there's also other forms of leverage. There's something called OPK, OPK, which stands for other people's knowledge, other people's knowledge. You've got to ask yourself, if you want to become a wealth creator, how do I leverage leverage of OPKs, off other people's knowledge, okay? There's also OPT, other people's time, other people's time. And actually, if you want to cre- become a wealth creator, one of the key things is using OPK and OPT other people's knowledge, other people's experience, and other people's time, okay? It's very important. That's how you create wealth. So I hope that gives you some insights. So again, the bigger, one of the biggest secrets to creating wealth is leverage, leverage. OPM, other people's money. OPK, other people's knowledge. OPT, other people's time, right? Now, the third thing before I make... A recommendation. I've got a great book that I'm going to recommend you all read. But another thing that is really key if you want to create wealth is you've got to understand how to use leverage. So for example, I can only speak for myself is that one of the ways I look to create wealth in my life is to understand the importance of using leverage to my advantage. And the three things that I am currently focused on and have been focused on for many years to create my wealth is using different asset classes. So let's talk about the different asset classes that are out there. Real estate is an asset class. Um, Cryptocurrency is an asset class. Business, owning a business, leading a business, buying a business, that is an asset class. The stock market is an asset class. Gold and silver, precious metals is an asset class. Owning art, is a asset class. For me specifically, the three that I predominantly focus on is real estate, cryptocurrency, and of course, business, business. I'm into business, right? I do collect art as well, and I do have some very unique and quite expensive pieces, beautiful pieces, but those are my three main ones. Real estate, cryptocurrencies, and business that is those are the the paths the three paths that i'm going to use predominantly to grow my wealth to expand my wealth and to and and to basically stretch my wings and cover as much space as possible okay so i hope that helps you guys and i hope you got at least one insight from the short live of course i want to recommend a book now but before i recommend a book and this is a great book. You will know the author for sure. But before I recommend this book, um, what I want to share with you guys is, look, if you're getting value from, um, from these lives, I, I'm here every Wednesday. Make sure you share this. Make sure you tag someone. Make sure you spread as much light as possible because every single one of us has at least one person in our tribe, in our inner circle, that can benefit from these insights, these aha moments. So... Having said that, here's the book. The book is called The Rules of Wealth. The Rules of Wealth, right? The Rules of Wealth. Uh, Really, really interesting book. And it was written by Richard Templer. Richard Templer is the author. So you can see that's... Okay, so Rules of Wealth. Highly recommend the book. So guys, uh, on that note, I want to wish you all a fantastic week. I'm sending you vibrations of power, strength, courage. We need a lot of courage as business owners and business leaders. And uh, until next week, I'll, uh, I'll look forward to connecting with you again. So till then, be great, stay safe, peace.